20 years after the Great Battle of Pinky Clue in 1547. Mary Queen of Scots found herself overlooking that battlefield from positions on the top of Carberry Hill. Her reign was drawing towards a dramatic close. Mary's third marriage to the ruthlessly ambitious Lord Bothwell proved to be the final straw for her unruly Protestant nobles, and as they marched against her in 1567, she and her husband fled to his fortress at Dunbar. From this once mighty castle, they prepared to raise an army from the men of the Lothians and the Borders, with which they could march on Edinburgh and regain the political initiative for the Queen. Rising above Carberry Tower is the strong, dominating position of Carberry Hill. And it was this hill which the Royal Army occupied with several thousand men and numerous cannons on the 15th of June 1567. Mary's position seemed strong. The hilltop was ringed with the earthworks of an ancient hill fort, still visible among the trees here today. These earthworks would provide ample defence should the enemy launch an attack up Carberry Hill's steep slopes. This later stone, however, wrongly asserts that the earthworks relate to the Battle of Pinkey 20 years before. Queen Mary's enemies, known as the Confederate Lords, marched out of Edinburgh to oppose her and took up a position to the south of Carberry Hill, anchored on the village of Cousland. The armies were well matched in numbers. The rebel lords occupied a base at the castle at Cousland, and from here they could assess Mary's positions on the hilltop looking down upon them. They knew very well that they could not risk an all-out assault on such a strong position, and the result was deadlock. Back in 1567 there were no trees on the hilltop then to provide the shelter from the sweltering sun which Mary's soldiers so desperately need. They could only watch in envy as the army beneath them sought shade, but they could find none. Effectively, Carberry Hill was under siege. Eventually, with her men deserting in search of shelter and water, Mary was obliged to seek other options than battle. After protracted negotiations lasting the entire day, Mary was obliged to agree to surrender. She gave herself up to William Kirkcaldy of Grange, an active opponent of all her policies. He led her away from her army at the place now occupied by this copse of trees. In return for her surrender, Bothwell was permitted to head off into exile, ultimately to die alone and insane. Mary was taken into captivity returned to Edinburgh and put into the care of the Lord Provost, and forced to abdicate the throne in the name of her infant son, James VI. Her reign was over. Today, at the part of the hill known as Queen Mary's Mound, this 19th century pillar commemorates these events. Nobody died at the Battle of Carberry Hill, but Mary's power was decisively broken. Later, she fled to England, only to be executed 20 years later.